as a oh, one off the striker. I like just, him as a winger. I don't, don't hate know, that call. The ball at his feet is unreal. He is one of the midfield three, man. Why not? Because Let's he, talk about his attributes. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I just, seriously, yeah, like, why not? Because, because he, he does, his positional sense. It's the same reason Trent, I don't like Trent at midfield. Like, like a, a Harry Kane's very good, but mm. it's like, would you drop him as an eight? He could, Harry Kane could play as an eight. Why couldn't Jesus? Because Harry, Harry Kane's got a better football brain than Jesus. He think? understands football 10 times better, yes. I know, like what, percent. I know what you're saying. Like the same then, reason Rooney can drop in, because he understands football better. Boys, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Martin Odegaard's done his ankle in international duty. Um, we're not sure at the time of recording mm. how long he's going to be out for, but that's worrying signs for Arsenal, isn't it? It is. It, it looks rough. Mm. I don't know how robust his tendons Achilles is, mm. but it looks like a, his ankle's gone over quite far. And that now takes us Mourinho, Rice, Marino, Jose Mourinho in midfield. <laughs> Marino, Rice, and Odegaard in the midfield, all out for the North London derby. Yeah, all that's horrible. Yeah, potentially all three of our starting midfielders out. Like that's, it couldn't have happened at a worse time, really, could it? We're, we're getting to today's show. We're going to talk about obviously a full preview of the North London derby coming up, and we'll give our combined eleven. Arsenal and Tottenham combined 11 okay try and be as unbiased <laughs> as possible good luck <laughs> yeah because yes. we are three Arsenal fans we do really need a Tottenham fan yeah here, we do <laughs> we'll get into it anyway so it's a 2pm kickoff this Sunday mm. Arsenal our first three games of the season we've won won and drawn okay mm -hmm. Tottenham they've drawn won and lost but their only win was at home they're at home on Sunday what are your immediate thoughts do you think it's going to be a tough game um, I think First of all, you look at how they've played, and I don't think it's out of order to say they haven't played very well. A draw against Leicester, all right, it's a tough opening game against a newly promoted team, but you should still be winning it. Newcastle, I don't think they look good at all, but it is a London, North London derby. Derby's form kind of goes out the window, doesn't it? Because Absolutely. Passion, aggressiveness, all comes into play, and they must be licking their lips. If Odegaard is injured, they're going to be buzzing. Of course they're they are, yeah. Um, even if Odegaard isn't injured and he plays which would be fantastic still no Declan Rice so there is a weaker team than what we would like to be playing them yeah Ken what yeah. do you think tough game yeah absolutely it, regardless of whether we had all our players or not it's always going to be a tough game um, yeah. like it's a North London derby we saw last year despite going 3-0 up it still ends up mm. being a tight game oh, like, yeah. they, still oh, managed, yeah. they still managed to make it tough because as soon as they get that goal and the crowd gets going it becomes a completely different game it's not a normal game of that's football. The, the crowd's the big one in it I it's think. not a normal yeah. game of football and especially away from home they've got that advantage so now you take into account the fact that rice is missing odegaard could be missing even if he's back he'd be you wouldn't expect him to be 100 like, i mean but i i I'd, I'd, I'd guess he's not going to play yeah, based on 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 how I mean, we're recording this on Tuesday. Looks, yes. It doesn't look like he's going to be in the team. It's going to be... It's a Sunday's two. It's, it's a very short turnaround. So I'd assume he'd be out. So Arsenal's midfield will be sort of makeshift come Sunday. Um, so if you're Ange, you're, you know, you're looking at the Arsenal squad and saying, of course, they're still going to be good. But as a Spurs team, you've really not got a better... There's, there's no better time to play That's this it. current Arsenal squad. And, and this is a chance for them to sort of turn their current season around. I know it's early days, but they haven't had the start they would have liked. This is a great opportunity for them this to make a statement. This will wipe last three games clear. They get a result Fans here. Fans will forget about it. They beat Arsenal. If they get a result, then, you know, it, it, it's a great start to the season for them. So, yeah, yeah, it'll be a tough game, no doubt. And Arsenal look vulnerable. Like, we do look a little vulnerable now. Obviously, the midfield is pretty much gone, like all of it. Um, and, and we've also, like, the goal we conceded against Brighton, the defence, you could have said looked looked a little, yep, you know, unusual for how they've been. You could say a little bit, like a little bit, but it was the only goal we've conceded this season. Though. Yeah, but we've also had big chances yes, against yes, us. Yes, yes, so, yes. So what I'm saying, is if I'm and you're a Tottenham player right now, like you said, it's the perfect time for them to play us. And also, there's things you can pick at where you think, right, we can get at these. We can we can actually beat these, like for mm. real. We, it's yeah. not just being optimistic. No, will, no, they definitely can. Will Ange be playing on that? Will he be saying? So this knows, about, or yeah, yeah. or that, yeah. will he be saying let's not be complacent because it's still awesome. it's not about complete like there's no way they can be complacent because they'll get they'll get beat if they're complacent mm -hmm. no doubt um, it's about telling his players that look this isn't like this isn't a game you have to feel like any type of fear about 
Because if yeah. you, let's say you're facing a full strength Arsenal team, it can be a long game. Like you're going into the game thinking this is going to be long. Like we're going to try our best, but these lot are unreal. He's going to be trying to get into his players' heads that right now they're not that team. They've mm -hmm. got players missing. We don't know what they're going to do in midfield. Their confidence could be low. They can like they've been conceding some chances. This is a chance to get at them, and like like you said. Ange doesn't know anything else. Like he, he goes all out. Like yeah. he wants to attack. He wants to to score goals. So that's probably the best approach for Spurs to just go for it. It's not a complacent approach. It's a no. This is a big chance to be mm -hmm. Arsenal at home. One th the thing they couldn't do last year. So yeah, I don't think they'll uh, they'll change their game plan at all. It, it might just be a, a slight a slight a, I don't know maybe a little talking to with the team to to remind them about our midfield problems mm -hmm. um, and maybe just to go through that area a bit more. I was just about to say, are they in training this week preparing to attack the midfield? Because if it is, we'll talk about it in a minute, if it is Partey and Jorginho, that is a slow midfield. So are they now going, instead of going down the wings, let's attack the middle? I don't I think, I think. don't think their game plan would have changed massively. Like It's, it's not no. like they, like you said, they thought before the game, if they thought this, let's just go down the wings. Mm -hmm. They're not going to now say, right, let's just go down the middle. They yeah. might work maybe on Fridays, Thursdays, they might work a few more patterns to, to get through the middle yep. and how they're going to utilise that. Um, and they'll probably try and guess who we're going to put there, which we'll get on to later. Um, so yeah, it, it'll just be slight little adjustments, I think. Yeah, I think it's more psychological. Yeah. Just getting into your players that you can win this midfield battle on Sunday. And if mm -hmm. you win that battle, that's half the job done towards winning a game. And that's the thing, a fully strengthened Arsenal team, they don't win that midfield battle in, in no general way. but th no this way. this weekend they've got a chance to basically win that midfield battle and if you do that you, you're halfway there to winning the game yeah. so are we being too nervous though because let's be real Jorginho is still a baller yes he's not got the pace but he can still control a game from the midfield he's top yeah there's no like no disrespect to him when anyone's talking in that way it's just the partnership him and Partey are very similar. Like they're different, but like oh, I don't want they both. To, they can't play together. Together, man. I'm it's just to chuck a kid in them. Have both of them. Really, it's just yeah. the idea that that would change our system massively. That's what it is. Right, it, okay. it's a completely different system now. If they're both playing, it's not the same single pivot with an eight. It's now two pivots, mm -hmm. which is it can work, but yeah. it just changes the system so like so much. I think we're gonna have to adapt slightly in term because we're gonna realise how important Odegaard is if we try and play the same exactly the same way because he, he controls our game. Yeah. He literally does from you start can't, to finish. Yeah, you can't play you win, he's a, gonna a have kid, to do a something. Kid can't come in and replicate that. Like no. you can't like no matter how good he is, it will take time, he, he won't be able to do that. So we're gonna have to change it slightly. Mm -hmm. I hope he does change it slightly. It could be a little fresh like something fresh for the players as well, something mm -hmm. fresh for Tottenham to deal with. I, I just don't want to see Partey and I don't want to see Partey and Jorginho. That's just one thing I don't want to see. It's bad, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Is it? Are we being pessimistic? Is it bad? No. It's, I mean, now. I mean, you. I think you wanted to go into this game like for, for the last couple of years now. We've probably gone into most games, barring maybe City mm -hmm. or a few Champions League games. You're going into ninety percent of the games thinking we should win this game if mm. we turn up, and that's been the case. I think it's just. Now we're in a situation where it's like, oh, we're in for a game this weekend. Yeah. We can still win. We know, yeah, we know. We know we yeah. can still win, absolutely. But it's like, we're not going into it with the same confidence that we've gone into recent games. Um, so yeah, it's it's a blow. Definitely having Rice missing and Odegaard missing. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're two of our key, key players. They're two players that are the first names on this team sheet. Yeah, if, you're right. If everyone's fit, no matter what. So it's, it's a big miss, no doubt. Boys, you can obviously play football a lot. Do you ever wear grip socks? Yeah, pretty much every training session, every game, it helps you to not slip about in your boot, yeah. basically, which makes you play better, simple as. Yeah, definitely adds a little bit extra level of comfort, and especially for blisters as well, if you struggle with them, yeah. they help. Perfect, comfort blisters for me, massively. I've been wearing these for a while now, and I think they're amazing. They've also got a new design, yeah, which is nice, very, very nice on the back. Um, and these are Fitnit Grip Socks. So if you play football, we are very happy to say that you can use our code BT10 for 10% off at Fitnit Grip Socks. Go get yourself some. But who do you think their danger men are? Because they've, they've, they've got a few. Because they've got Son, clearly. I like Brennan Johnson as well. Madison has not been amazing. Like He's obviously one but to watch can, out for. He can turn up. He, yeah. he can, he's got the ability. He can. I, th I find him sh slightly frustrating to watch. I watched him against Newcastle and I mm. thought, right, didn't go, didn't get picked for the England team. Mm. So surely now, start of the season, bang, he hits the ground running. 
and he was really frustrating to watch. And then at about 65 minutes, he absolutely chopped one of the Newcastle players, which some people would say that it's a red card. Is he as big of a threat as we think he is? I just don't think his game suits trying to, you know, run around, work hard and make things happen. Like I think he's more of a, not, I don't want to say like a, a floater, but someone who just, when the ball comes to him, he can make a, a, a moment of magic. Yeah. He's not someone mm. who can go like an Odegaard, run around the whole pitch, dictate the play. That's not mm -hmm. him. So when he's having a bad spell, you want to go and get involved and get and touch the ball and do that. I don't think that's his game. Mm. I think he needs to sort of stay as patient as he can on the pitch, but it's hard to do if you're, mm. if you're trying to prove to, like you said, pr prove to people why you need to be in the England team. Yeah. So, yeah, he's one to watch out for, of course. He's, he's world yeah, class. Yeah, as, as much as he might be out of form, those kind of players are scary because he can play 60, 70 minutes, do nothing. Really, and yeah. And then get, get the ball on the edge of the box and just put it top bins. Like mm. he's, his quality is, I think he's massively underrated. I know he's probably struggling for form at the minute and all the England stuff's probably bringing him a little extra pressure, but yeah, he's a scary it's player. You, you got you got to be aware of him. The kind yeah. of game he'll love as well, isn't it? North yeah, London derby. Yeah. Oh yeah, he loves it. He, when the he loves the, the more that kind of on the line, yeah, he likes it. Then, yeah, of course. I think Pedro Poro. Yeah, he's I think a player, man. I think he's very. I think defensively can get Suspect. a bit. Yeah, a bit complacent when it comes to like in transition. He's always a bit out of it. But attacking wise, he could be a big threat. And if you've got someone like Solanke in the middle, if he's fit, whipping that ball into Solanke, I would be slightly worried about that. Yeah, that, that makes you think. I don't know who would you say out of our left wingers is better to defensively, like Martinelli or Trossard? Probably Martinelli. Really, you Probably. would just get high energy. He's he works hard. Yeah, he helps mm. defensively a lot. I think and he and cause more problems to like one in that one-on-one -on -one battle to Porat than Trossard yeah, will do. Yeah, this is the thing. Like Trossard's been on good form, like we spoke about before, but. Yeah, Martinelli offers a lot out of possession that people might not notice because you're not looking. Like the, the the average fan isn't looking at his left wingers and thinking about what he offers defensively. No. You want you want to see him create chances, score goals, but he does offer a lot. And and in these kind of games, sometimes you just need to resort to to someone that's going to work hard, mm. um, help defensively, neutralize their their threats. And I he, think he does that. Yeah. He could be a good. He'll, he'll be a good help defensively. Like you said, Pedro Porro is a threat. And Solanke could be back in the team because he's been missing the last couple of games, hasn't he? Yeah, he didn't start. Yeah, he's not really yeah. 100%. Yeah. So that could, I mean, that's another problem we need to deal with mm -hmm. um, if Solanke's back in the team. So that's, yeah, another thing not <laughs> not going our way. But I don't know, we'll, we'll see. They're, they're, they're main players of threat. What was, what's your thoughts about their high line? Because they do have a, they'll maintain that high line, won't they? And we've got pace and we've still got our attackers. They're still fit. 100%. This is yeah. why I think Martinelli works and potentially seeing Sterling come on in this game. Because that high line, I mean, we saw it against Chelsea last season when I think Tottenham yeah, got went nine, down to men, but nine players. They played that high line, line. Yeah, yeah. That's just which, I mean, some people say credit to Ange for sticking to nah. his guns. Nah. I think it's stupid. Nah, it's naive, isn't it? It's naive. And you saw last season, we got the ball on the counter-attack, Havertz pinged it over the top Saka's to Saka, one-on-one. Yeah. On one. Mm. Yeah. And if we can get people like Martinelli running at the two defenders that are left, slash Sterling when he comes on against tired legs, that could be a dream. That yeah. could be how we win the game. Yeah, if you're Arteta, so. you're just thinking, like, stay in the game. Mm -hmm. Not not in a negative way, but like, don't give them anything. And we've got, like you said, we've got all our attackers. Every single one still fit and they they need to turn up this weekend. And if they turn up, we win the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Like, they can definitely make up for the for the missing players in midfield. So, I think we might have to be more direct. Like, yes, like I said, we, yes. we don't have Odegaard. So yes. Instead of building up, it would be more direct. We know Havertz can deal with them as well. Yes. He's quite good. And yes. then we've got pace off, off him. I mean, it's going to be a lot less ball coming back to Odegaard, going sideways, giving it back to Odegaard, waiting yeah. for a chance, isn't it? It's going to be much more direct down the wings, like you say. Yeah. yeah. That's and what, away that, from home, that's not a bad approach. Away no. from home no, in North good. London mm -hmm. derby. It's like, like even we got last year, to, we, weren't, we, we didn't control that game very well. Yeah. At Spurs last year, we didn't, Shaky, but we it? literally played on a break, yeah. oh, and yeah, that was yeah. with everyone. Wow. That was with Rice. That was with Odegaard. So yeah. it might have to be a similar approach. Yeah. Um, and in that case, like we could be, we could be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that's where we'll we'll win the game and and just hope we can sort of, you know, even the midfield battle and then our defense take care of mm. their threats. But yeah. Uh, that that game last year, a lot of them players that played are playing this still here this year. So that's also another good, yeah, it's just a good learning curve yeah. experience for and for this year. A stronger left back, which I think we've been crying yeah. out for for a long time. You have got Timber or Calafiore. Yeah, 
that is so much more assured than Calipari Zinchenko might be injured. defensively injured. Yeah. yeah, he went off. Apparently, it's not too bad, okay. but again, we don't know for sure yet. But Timba is he's yeah, solid, quality. so solid, isn't he? Yeah. Either way, um, we'll, we'll go on to our starting eleven, who we think should start for Arsenal, um, because mm. we are missing a few players. Yeah. If we haven't mentioned it so far, <laughs> uh, so we go Raya in goal. Yeah, yeah, we we'll go Raya in goal. The back four, we stick in with Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel, and Timba. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And yeah. if there's if there's ever a time for Timba to get on the ball and play it, which he can do. This is the game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And now let's go on to the midfield. Who who do we need to start in midfield to beat Tottenham? Question, is Jesus fit? I don't... Apparently so. That's what I think okay. I've heard. Let's go fit. on the fact that he is. He's fit, yeah. but not. he's obviously not full match yeah, fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's going to... We, we're, we're lacking players though. Like, he's going to need to put, yeah, put his finger on. He's going to need to be yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you, get your boots on. Yeah, get him <laughs> back might in have to be one of them. Wilshere's 32, he can get, he can get a call. Back like, on. These players, it could happen. <laughs> Needed to. Um, go on, midfield. Oh. Let's say Jesus is fit. Can you go first? Because I'm struggling. It's a difficult one. So obviously, Thomas Partey as a lone... Yeah. I'd probably say him as a lone six. Who have we got? Just... <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, who we actually got? <laughs> no, like... so for for me, like Thomas Partey's in there, and then I'd like to see for the, instead of Odegaard, like Nwanyeri. I don't mind what seeing, as the ten, as the ten. Yeah, seeing that seeing the youngster and then come who in, goes as the eight, as or like yeah. So, so let's say they're both eights or tens, whatever you want to call yeah, them. Yeah, cool. So Nwanyeri for Odegaard, and then I'd have in that rice position. I wouldn't mind. These are the options: either a Trossard to come in there, or a Havertz to drop deep. Either of them two, I'll be happy with, and let's. Let's play Trossard I in there. Don't think you can drop. I, I, if you I put Trossard in there, though, you, oh, you, said you don't want to drop Havertz. I don't right? want to drop Havertz yeah. back. I he's, 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 he, you actually might have to. I'm just thinking because oh. we've, we've got Sterling who can play up top. I, I know we, he's not. We've got Jesus as well. Jesus like, as we, well. We might have. I know what you're saying. Yeah. For that direct game, Havertz would suit. But yeah. we literally, if Odegaard was there, then obviously perfect. Odegaard, um, you, you find another midfield and stick Havertz mm. up. This, but you actually yeah. just might have to. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I do. Okay, Havertz to start in that eight. The only yeah. other option yeah. was, do you can do you play Jesus deeper? I've always uh, thought he no, could do not that. Not in the not in midfield, no way. What as the as a the nah, as the ten nah, as an as a nah, one off the striker? I like just, him as a winger. I don't, don't hate know, that call. The he, ball at his feet is unreal. Beers one of the midfield three, man. Why not? Play. Because let's he, talk about his attributes. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm, I just seriously. Yeah, like, why not? Because he does his positional sense. It's the same reason Trent. I don't like Trent in midfield. You hate Trent I, I, in midfield. Because but Trent, attributes can, can equal, have all the attributes that you look Jesus at Jesus wins the ball back more than Trent. This is my point. Like You can have all the attributes on paper to to like tick off everything that you need for a mm. midfielder. But to know when to go press, to when to stay, when to stay in your position, of when, course, to, of course. when to, I don't know, how to drop off and receive the ball when you're on the half turn mm. for, in them positions. I don't think Jesus... Has I think that. he'd receive the ball well. He the receives. Ball, the, ball I, I, think, I, think, I think. I think. As in possession. I think in possession he has everything to play there. Ball at his feet. He's a joke. He's not like. It's ask it's anyone that's trained. It's your mind. Like he ain't losing it, the ball. It, you ain't getting the ball off him. Can I yeah. throw? Can I throw Jesus as a winger at you? Because in the Man City game last year, we yeah, he, he, yeah, he can definitely do the job. But yeah, I mean, he can definitely play on the wing. Yeah, yeah. We, if he if he did that left wing job and he basically played as a left wing back and then like a striker on the counter. Can he not do the job in midfield? I'm playing devil's advocate. I don't know yeah, what I, I want. I've, I've, I've had yeah. this conversation I, I'm before. I'm firm he can't. Like, as, a, as, a, as an eight, as a Rice role, that's too deep. Like, someone, I've yeah. had this conversation with people. Is it is like Rice's role? No. As Odegaard's role, obviously, it's a, it's a hybrid between an eight and a ten. I'd prefer him in 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 a six than an eight. Because it's so much... <laughs> wow. That's, it's such a different position. Like, it's so hard to... You're saying he can receive the ball well. He would receive it well, but... That, like you can receive it well as a striker, that doesn't mean you can do it in midfield. No, but this is the thing. I don't think Jesus is a striker. I think he's a I, joke of a footballer. I, I think he's just a, a top footballer. top footballer. That you know, because he's so good, they've just sort of stuck him up front. Any of the three, I do agree with you. And it, but like we see where he lacks as a striker, he's not a killer like that. Mm. I know what you mean. He's got he's got everything, but for in like, like three, I understand what you're a, saying. He doesn't have to have that sensible head. I, I, yeah, I I know exactly what you're saying. And that would apply to ninety percent of strikers that are technically sound. Like like a, a Harry Kane's very good, but mm. it's like, would you drop him as an eight? He could. Harry Kane could play as an eight. Why couldn't Jesus? Because Harry Harry Kane's got a better football brain than Jesus. Do he understands football ten times better. Yes, I know what, I know what you're saying. Like the same then, reason Rooney can drop in because he understands football better. 
it, like, so you're saying it's not about ability with the ball. It's about it's not like he here. can't physically make the movement to yeah. do the turn. It's it's knowing it's knowing to do it. It's knowing how to link up play. It's knowing when to pass and where basically mate how have we got where? to the point in the season four days after the transfer four games after the transfer note where we're arguing well, this, 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 com this comes back to the what i was saying the other week in terms of i didn't think it was the best transfer window because Clearly. last season the squad was yeah. bigger the last season we didn't have a problem it's like yeah. cool Vieira, you go in there smith row you go in. like there's so many yeah. names you could have just chucked in we'd be so happy right now saying smith row going as an eight Vieira going as an eight no yeah. one's no one's yeah, like you'd be like cool they can play they do can the all job. do the job now we're talking about can Jesus play as an eight? Can can or do we have to drop Havertz? Like, yeah. I don't think I think our, our squad has gone backwards. Yeah, and I, let me can I just quickly say what yeah. I would do? Yeah, yeah, do because, your midfield. Yeah, go on. I start. I start with the more conservative is for me is Havertz in that eight with mm -hmm. Nwanyeri and Partey as the holding. So Partey's the holding, Nwanyeri and and Havertz as the mm -hmm. two further attacking, and then whether you want to chuck Martinelli or Jesus as the nine, mm -hmm. and then Trossard or Martinelli. Like whoever you want, Saka on the wings. That's like we can. That's not really a problem. And then if we need to, it let's say the last thirty minutes, it gives us the option to put Havertz as a second striker mm -hmm. and go with two in midfield mm -hmm. and maybe take off one of the one of the other one of the other players. Do so you lock in yours. Yeah. What is your locked in? Yeah, he's locked in three. his midfield three. What's your front three? Front three would be. I mean, I don't it, just because Jesus. I don't think he's fully fit. I would mm -hmm. go Martinelli up top, Trossard on the left, Saka on the right. Mm. You're ignoring Sterling. Yeah, for now, yeah. I, th I think Just bring him on like last yeah. 30. Is it and not the perfect game for Sterling to start? It's yeah. like I'm sort of doing what I think Arteta might do as well. That as well. Okay, okay, okay. Just fair. depending on how we don't know what's where, where Sterling yeah. is. Like if he's genuinely like just raring and ready to go, then maybe I'd maybe because in the yeah, training videos, him instead of instead of sharp, yeah, you, look, you look good in training. Yeah, that's, that's Sterling that. up top, Martinelli on the left against their high line is disgusting. Is it not? Yeah, it's disgusting. He's got, like, he's on got FIFA, a point. I, I feel <laughs> yeah. like on FIFA, are we, are we, people apart. But. Are we playing down Sterling a bit too much? I like, think we like, might could, be, you know? Yeah, could, like, could he genuinely just go and in to and start? And he could. And he be like could. Premier League, I'm still here. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind Sterling instead of Trossard and then if it's Martinelli or Jesus up front. But I'm, if I had to lock one in, I'd go... Martinelli up front is punchy because his confidence is low. Yeah. To then go lead the line in the North London derby... Yeah, but it's either him or Jesus, and if Jesus, I prefer someone that's fit. And I understand Sterling. what you're or saying. Sterling. Yeah. Nah, he can mm. do it. He can do it. Yeah, he I prefer him it. on the wing though. Okay, come on. But that's my team. Ken. Which one did you go? So you went. I went, so you went on Trossard on the left. Trossard. Yeah, because um, I feel like it's better to. We've got stuff off the bench then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Trossard, Martinelli, Saka. Yeah. And on what Nwanyeri, have you you confident in him starting in the North London No, I've, I've seen like like barely. based on based on what we've got. Obviously, is um, that what you do? I just don't know another option. I'd, could be I'd, a fantastic I've barely call. seen him play if I'm completely honest mm. but, could be a great call and could get him the number 10 shirt at Arsenal yeah well I, I, that's that's what I'd go with Ken and you ju you just completely rule out the double pivot yeah man like a 4-2-3-1 <laughs> yeah I well, I don't rule out the double like uh, during parts of the game but I'd rule no, out no but like starting part, as two... Partey and Jorginho I rule that out whereas Ooh. I don't mind if like let's say Nwanyeri's dropping in a bit sometimes mm. but no can I jump in with the because you you both like Party and Jorginho can't play together I haven't said that no I've said oh, that oh okay, okay. Said that. right let me why not just Jorginho because he did it a lot last season in the six and was right, very yeah. good. the other two. Yeah, but that's that. You can well, have Jorginho. Yet, so yeah, you go. Yeah. That, the you only reason have, we're talking about it is because we just have no one else instead maybe, of Partey. But I've just picked Partey over him. Yeah, fair. Yeah, fair. Just because he's been playing there all season. Yeah, okay. Enough, he's probably a bit better. It's actually there's actually so many options. The the other option is we didn't even speak about is Zinchenko as a second eight. We spoke. Yeah, we spoke, we did talk like, about like, a little like, bit last So like a Partey Zinchenko and then Havertz. Mm. It's not the worst shout. It isn't the worst. It's just shout. options, like, isn't we, it? And, we and always say he's trying to go on the ball. We like. Yeah, I, I, I'd prefer him in the in the. Eight. Th that's what I'm yeah. saying. There, he'd be. You know what? I, I don't think he'd cost us there as opposed to where left back when he gets isolated one v one. He'd be. He can. He'd do like he would drop in next to him as well. Um, and I just yeah. We got no clue. Well, I've said no. <laughs> no, I've, well, yeah, I've, yeah, no, he said his team. No, I, no I just, I just, I just, I just gave you an option okay, in case you wanted to change, change it. Okay. No, no, okay. it's I fine. My team. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad that Zinchenko starting. By the way, that's probably if I had to go with second option, it'd be him in the eight, mm. and then keep having. So yeah, but listen, let me. I want to hear your team. You keep, you're, you've you've be, avoided it nicely. Yeah, so far. It's just there's. I feel like none of us are in a position 
You can to tell select I'm, this I'm the only one that's managed here at this table because you've got to be decisive, guys. <laughs> I'm not decisive <laughs> at all. We're talking about Jorginho in the six. We're talking about Jesus in the eight. It can't be decisive. I've got my team. I've, just, I've yeah, got go my team. No, you say you I mean, you're absolutely go going to laugh at it. Right? <laughs> go on, go on. <laughs> Jorginho six. Because you know there's a player on the Arsenal team that I do not trust. Yeah. Jorginho in the six. Mm. Zinchenko in the eight. Waneri in the ten. Like the old guard, yeah. Martinelli, Havertz, Saka. Yeah, I like, like I don't mind that. I don't but mind I would that. definitely not hate Sterling starting in this game. Yeah. I actually would... I think I'd quite like it. I think I'd quite like Winery starting because it's like, go on in, boy, make a name for yourself. And Sterling will have... This This is the perfect game for him to prove what no one's been saying about him, that he's still a baller. Yeah. But... Yeah. It's just come in. He's only just come in. No, ju no. But that's, you've got your team. That's fine. No, I don't, I'm I don't Sterling think, I don't think, Martinelli. I'm oh, okay, right. I'm, okay. I don't think it's a bad shot at all. Sterling. Like... I, like mm. I can get behind that. Yeah. I know they're only training videos, but he looked real sharp. It's, it's even forget that it's Sterling. Like, yeah. like yeah. let's not forget who he is. Do you he's still what, I mean? he's still 29. he's twenty nine. He's not played for Tottenham, so he's not got no like. He's gonna yeah, for, it, like he, the, yeah. I'm 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 bringing him off the bench personally, yeah. but like so I, what's your I, I wouldn't six front six. So the so it'd be again. There's so many options, but I'm gonna go Zinchenko next to Thomas Party. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna go. Havertz on the other side yeah. of midfield. Okay. Wow. Um, okay. And then I'll go Saka, Martinelli, Trossard. Martinelli through yeah. the middle. The other option is, is, is playing. Is, the other option is Trossard as a false nine I think and, and having team, his pace on the whip. In your team, would you have, it'd probably make more sense to have Havertz on the left. Uh, like or where, Zinchenko where, on the right, yes. Where yes. would be. And then yes, yes. Because yes. Havertz has done that yeah. role a lot. Okay. Um, and Zinchenko on the other side of midfield. And, and, the the other option in there would have been Wineri, but I don't know him. Yeah, Arteta <laughs> could. <laughs> Arteta, no, I'm saying Arteta I'm could. Arteta yeah. could know him and so, say yeah, he's, he's he can do day. it. Yeah, I I don't. So yeah. it's that would be Arteta's okay. call. Does he know him enough to say you can go play? A lot of Twitter. I mean, people on Twitter are well, that's like, go off. I, been whatever saying, they say, I go the opposite. Mate. Have been saying yeah. Saka in the ten. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> just ridiculous. That, like, I, not I, because you said he, that to me not, off not, air. Not, not, not I said that's the worst shout ever. But it's like, no, oh, your God. your best player in this squad right now is because there's no other players. Yeah, yeah. Stick him in his position yeah. where he's gonna cause. Yeah, fair. And by the way, problems. I, I reckon there's right wing striker, left wing, left back, right back that he'd play better than any of the midfield three. Yeah, that, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, yeah, that's back why. You, yeah. It's just not he's, with his attributes. Yeah, his attributes. Like, I, I don't think it's. I don't think he's incapable of it, but no, it's just his attributes just are so suited any to... Sense. He, yeah, you're not going to get his explosive pace out of him playing in the 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Let's, <laughs> let's go on to the official predictions for that game. Okay, <sighs> so I want score, scoreline and goal scorers. That chat has weirdly made me more confident that we've got so many options that we can yeah. use. <laughs> no, I'll no. tell you what made me quite confident is the Zinchenko, actually. You forgot about that option. I forgot. I, no, the Zinchenko higher up in the midfield actually mm -hmm. excites yeah. me. But yeah, cause he, cause you, you can't yeah. cross the start. Yeah, you can't can't, not us. as much, not <laughs> yeah. as much. Yeah. Um, anyway, right, predictions. Do you want, I can go first if you want. Yeah, go, go first. On. Yeah, so Tottenham, I think it's going to be goals for either team. Mm. I'm going to go... A three-two thriller no, to Arsenal. Three-two thriller to Arsenal. Say exactly the same. I'm going to go Sterling to come off the bench and score. Maybe the last goal. I'll go Havertz and Saka to score. Sterling, Havertz, Saka. I don't, whoever scores Tottenham's, I don't know. Solanke and Son. They, they normally score. Mm. That's mine, boys. Ken, I I was going to go three-two, um, yeah. just because I think both teams will score goals. Um, I think if we had a full strength squad, I'd be backing us to potentially keep a clean sheet, potentially. Yeah. But I, I, yeah, we're not going to be at full strength, but we've got all our attacking. Well, other than Odegaard, we've got majority of our attacking threats. Sterling off the bench, all of these that are big options. So I think we'll score goals. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Saka brace, Love and it, then yes. and then Trossard. Nice three two Saka brace Trossard. Yeah, what you got now? Well, just before I say mine, yeah. Solanke and Van der Ven might not be available. They might be, they might not. Yeah. Mm. So we've be been talking miss. about what we're missing. Yeah. We haven't looked at what they're missing, right? If they're missing them two, it's another game as well. So 
No, do you know what? Whether they're missing or not, 3 1 Arsenal. 3 1. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah 3 1. I'm going Martinelli and two for Havertz. Mm. Two for Havertz. Yeah. That'd be unreal. Yeah. 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 Martinelli, two for Havertz. It's su- it will be such a big game. I'm um, actually, like this is maybe so much more exciting. Yeah. 